coffee is the lifeblood of Uganda's economy and with this positive survey calls upon Ugandans to ensure value addition on coffee to earn more and create more employment opportunities. National Coffee Research Institute Nakori has organized the 2024 National Coffee Research Symposium to build the connections that align coffee research with industry needs. We used to know that coffee is a beverage for drinking, but that the research institute that is Nakori has proved that you can have beverages, beauty products and other products for leisure industry. And the leisure industry are focusing on sports. What sports products can the institute do? Under dietary products, we can have coffee, yogurt, coffee cakes, coffee cookies, coffee bread, and other confectionaries. The chairperson board Uganda Agribusiness Alliance, Victoria Sechitoriko, employed Ugandans to recognize and uptake coffee. She further cited the need for Uganda to establish a permanent location to be an expertise district for authentic coffee seedling sea. We should have areas which are specialized. If Mukono is in seedlings and Masaka is producing coffee for export, then we can put all our expertise there, we can put all our investment there, and if things go right, we know what to thank. But if things go wrong, we know where to go. But now everybody is, has turned themselves into a specialty coffee, uh, seedlings coffee producer. That is how we have ended up with the fake seedlings. This symposium comes as an occurrence of the many activities gearing to the Nakori 10 years of existence come 8th August 2024. Targets are that at the end of this exercise, we'll refine research and only solve challenges that are more critical to farmers and more critical to people processing or exporting coffee. Initially, we were not interacting with these categories, and probably the research we are doing was not as beneficial as it's going to be from now. As we mark 10 years of our existence as a research institute, we are also developing a new coffee and cocoa research and development agenda. Robert Katamba, UBC News.